Hey guys, it's George and I'm back with a brand new episode of D-Rump Comics. And in today's episode, I'm going to open up this box that I just got in the mail today from CBCS. Stay tuned after the intro to check it out. Alright guys, we're going to get right into the unboxing after a short PSA. I just wanted to say my experience so far with CBCS has been amazing. They were at the convention that I got the books done at. It was GalaxyCon Minneapolis. And they were $50 per book cheaper for each slab than the CGC option, which was a third-party facilitator. But still, I mean, we're talking like roughly $25 a book versus $75 a book. And that's not to mention all their additional fees that they charge you extra for. Fast pass, pressing, all that stuff. They tripled the price for every possible charge you could have. CBCS was just their straight up pricing and their turnaround times were absolutely fire. The book you can see behind me up here, that book came back to me in 12 days. This shipment came back to me in 19 days. And these all had to go off to Florida to get pressed, sent back to Dallas for grading and encapsulation. And then it came to me all inside of 19 days. I did pay the fast pass for both shipments, but still that turnaround time is just insane. I, I can't even believe that I got them back already. So I'm super excited with it. Let's open them up here and see what the grades were. Yeah. All right, it worked. I opened it upside down. I still don't know the grades on these things yet. All right, guys, we're in. Let's see what we got. All right, so the first book we got here today is Ben Riley's Scarlet Spider. Now, this was a witness signature of Mark Bagley and Peter David. They were both at the convention. And I already had one of these from uh, Planet Comic Con when I went there, signed by Mark Bagley. But I didn't get to meet him. Kind of a disappointing experience. But here I got to meet Mark Bagley and get an awesome sketch. And I also got to meet Peter David. And yeah, let's see what the grade is. 8.9. Well, that's what it looks like on my, you know, but you guys probably see 9.8. Hell yeah. I'm pumped to get that one. All right. Now this next one is Batman number one. Now this is another double signed book. This was signed by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. And I did a little private meet and greet with those guys. They were really, really cool. And yeah, got this one back today. And we're hoping for another 9.8. And that's what we got. Hell yeah. Witness Sigs, Greg Capullo, Scott Snyder. Oh, that's awesome. Now, this is actually a reprint of Batman number one. It was uh, like a found in one of those like three packs of books that you'd buy from a Walmart or something like that. And, uh, um, this was actually a 9-8 slab already from CGC, but they actually didn't recognize that it was a reprint or a second print or something, and they just gave it, you know, a first print label, but it, CBCS was not fooled by it, and yeah, we got a 9.8. That's awesome. All right, now this next one is a very special book. My boy, Burke Nasty, hashtag stay nasty, uh, over at Burke Family 54 Comics. This is the book he's looking forward to right here. This is my Green Ranger signed by Jason David Frank. Beautiful gold signature there right across the visor. Looks amazing. And damn it, if I don't, I, I got to say, I really like how it looks in the CBS or CBCS slab here. Um, very, very cool. Hell yeah. All right, guys, let's see that grade. Go, go, Power Rangers. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, we're three for three so far. 9.8s all up and down the board. All right. And then the last one is a 1 in 100 ratio variant of Absolute Carnage number one. Now, really cool thing about this book is it, it's done by Mark Bagley, inked by Randy Emberlin. And when I met Randy Emberlin at the convention, 
he saw this and it was like, oh, you know what this is? And he told me the story. This was actually their original submission for the cover of Amazing Spider-Man 361, the first appearance of Carnage. And it wound up getting rejected and they went with a different cover instead. So when they did the Absolute Carnage storyline, Marvel decided to dig this one out of the archives and use this as their cover. So really, really cool there. Um, so this was signed by Mark Bagley and Randy Emberlin. And it got the beautiful, beautiful grade of 9.8, baby. Oh, yeah. 9.8. Oh. Oh, wow. All right. So this says... I'll, we're going to do a close-up of the label here so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, Mark Bagley Retailer Incentive slash Manufacturing Error. Okay, right. Manufactured with two digital code stickers. So I got two digital code stickers on here. Huh. That is very interesting. I'm going to have to do some research and see if all of those came that way or... If this is just a, a weird, very, very rare variant. You know which one I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for a weird, very, very rare variant. Hell yeah, dude. That is so cool. God, that's awesome. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Hey, guys. We did good today. We went four for four. Well, actually, there's five books in here. But one of them is meant for someone else. And I'm not going to show it on my channel. That'll be up to this other person to decide whether or not they want to show it on their channel. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm very, very excited about this. I still can't believe the turnaround times, you guys. I know CGC looks better. You know, that, that just goes without saying. But you know what? I've yet to get a CBCS book come back with a Newton ring. So that's kind of cool. And, you know, my other big complaint with them, I used them, you know, about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Um their turnaround times were awful right after they moved to Dallas and they fixed that. They fixed it real good. So um, definitely consider them if you're, you know, if you're like me and you're just adding books to your collection and you're not really thinking about, uh, about selling them. The, the resale value is not as high when you use these guys, but damn, it is still just incredible to get them back in such a, a quick amount of time. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you like the video, hit me with a like, maybe comment down below. We'll chat about some stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I'll, I'll post that up in the, in the description as well. Yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Do your best to try and remember that I am unable to quit. So I am currently too legit.